This is a presentation on MouseNet by William Wilkes. MouseNet is a self-reporting network of conventional mouse traps. show you how my invention MouseNet works. As you can see from the intro photos, it is my job to check all the mouse traps around our property. It is boring, inconvenient and often smelly if I forget. I've designed a mouse trap network where each trap reports to a base station when it is activated. The base station also flags the trap to be checked if it does not hope from the trap in 18 hours. MouseNet allows workers to just, just check and empty triggered traps. This gives huge time and cost savings. The prototype I have sent to you only contains four traps, but yet the system can be expanded to cope with up to 256 traps. I will now show you a series of stills to demonstrate how mouse net works. I will demonstrate a simple mouse catch. Plug in the USB cable to the mains power adapter or a computer. Connect the other end of the USB cable to the base station. Now everything is plugged in, you can turn on the base station. Now hold the black button down until the LCD reboots. This clears all the data. The LCD should show all the traps as check. If not, try rebooting again. Take trap 1 and set it. Placement of the tunnel is important because the, there's a magnet on the back of the tunnel that triggers a reed switch. Place the tunnel over trap 1. In 5 seconds, the LCD should say trap 1, OK. Take the fake mouse and use it to trigger trap 1. The LCD should display that trap 1 is triggered. Remove the tunnel and clear the mouse. Reset trap 1. Replace the tunnel on trap 1. The LCD should, should display that trap 1 is back to OK. I will demonstrate what happens if there is accidental animal or human interference on a trap. I have programmed the times to be sped up in order to demonstrate. Trap 1's tunnel is knocked away from the trap. Wait at least 3 minutes. In real life it will be 18 hours before alert is displayed. After 3 minutes, the LCD should be changed to check. Replace the tunnel over trap 1. After 5 seconds, the LCD should show trap 1 is OK. This process alerts workers to go and check any traps that have not transmitted in 18 hours. Any of these processes can be done to any of the traps in any sequence. The system becomes confused, just reboot by turning the base station off and on again and pressing the clear data button for 5 seconds. Reset any triggered traps and replace the, all the tunnels. This video is to show you how MouseNet would work if you deployed it around your property. I've not sent the long range antenna up to Auckland as I did not think you would you need it as I think you are only going to be testing inside. I've just deployed a network of mouse traps and now I'm going, now going to deploy the last trap.
Please be aware that setting these traps is difficult and do expect many, well, <laughs> many errors while setting them. Now, if we go back to the base station, we should see that all the traps are set to OK. They are, since it's a little hard to see on the video because of the light conditions. We do not have time to wait for a wild mouse, so meet Percy, my pet mouse. My pet toy mouse. Now, Wizard do not know it works, so I do not want to know which trap has been triggered. I'm going to let my brother Nicholas put a better trap. Like Percy's dead. Now we pretend that that, did, that happened at two in the morning and we do not know about it. So we wake up and turn the base station on. Right, trap force triggered. I deployed trap four over by the den. Let's go and see what's been caught in trap four. As you can see, the base station told me that this trap had been triggered, so I knew I was going to come and have to come and clear a dead mouse out of trap four. Sorry, Percy. Looks like you'll have to go to the recovery ward. <laughs> okay. Mouser has presented me with some major engineering challenges. The biggest being testing whether my ideas were fundamentally robust. The first testing I did was to check whether the pickaxe could detect the mercury switch pulse when the trap was triggered. The second being making sure that the reed switch could detect the magnet when the tunnel was placed. I needed to be sure that the reed switch was reliably activated. To do this I've cut an, a slit in the side of the tunnel so, and shaped the PCB so, it went, so when the tunnel is placed over the trap the PCB slots into the notch. The best practice protocol is to place the traps in tunnels to ensure the animal enters the correct way around and therefore a clean kill is more likely. I made some, I've made my tunnels out of core flute board and I've weighted them by filling the flutes up with sand. I wanted mouse net to be generic so it could be retrofitted to the back of any Victor mouse trap. This was difficult because every Victor mouse trap has slightly different tolerances. These are only to the extent of one or two millimeters, but they all add up. So I had to draw an engineering diagram of all these different tolerances so I could get a feel for where, how mop shape my PCB needed to be and where I could place my components on it. The traps needed to be fully waterproof because they are going to be used in harsh outdoor conditions. I calculated that the theoretical battery life is in excess of six months. So I made a decision to use epoxy resin epoxy resin to make the traps waterproof. It is not very neat because it needs to because it's in hand applied so in hand applied does not get very neat epoxy. So traps were kind enough to let me use their epoxying facilities. Thank you for watching my video and stay tuned to see how MouseNet has given my life more chill out time.